Blow the trumpet in Zion, Zion, sound the alarm. I am your watchman on the wall, Pastor Dave. It is February 24th, 2012. Let's have our coffee this morning. I woke up a little bit late. First things first. You know, I love coming on here every morning. I just love each and every one of you. I just want to love on you all day and have coffee with you on this very cold in Michigan. Cold Friday morning. It's been a strange week, to say the least, to really say the least, in uh, strange weather. We'll talk about the weather. How about when uh, you don't want to talk about something, you talk about the weather. In Michigan, where I live, I uh, I don't even want to look out the window. You know, if it's snowing, I like to look out the window, but I don't like to be out in the snow. When I was young, you know, believe it or not, uh, I get emotional. I get filled with all the spirit. So don't take Pastor Dave as a soft. I'm pretty tough, pretty tough. I used to play hockey, and um, I always loved to ice skate. I can't skate now, I don't think. It's been a while. But I played hockey. I played football out in the snow, in snowstorms. I played football all through school, uh, baseball. Uh, talk about hockey with my martial arts career. And we're not going to talk about karate, but um, one of my students was uh, the bad boy of the NHL. He still is. He's still a bad boy, but I'm trying to tame him down. Minnesota North Stars, Larry De Palma. I love Larry. I love him. Uh, he's had a tough, tough way to go. Um, but true story. He's a dear friend of mine, and he's a student of mine. I was trained him in the martial art. I don't want to look out the front window because that's where my vehicle's at. Uh, and I know I gotta leave for work early. I'm gonna have to shovel my way out and clean uh, that vehicle off. Or a lot of snow out there. We're expecting, we're hitting with a major snowstorm. So keep me in your prayers on the way to and home tonight from work. 8 to 12 inches of snow, I guess. 8 inches, is, it's all pouring down. I don't even want to look out the window. Now, sound the alarm. Blow the trumpet in Zion. I don't know if you've heard this story or not. Um, that noise in the background is a furnace. I've got my sweater on and it's cold. Uh, I thought only Jesus saves, not Pope Benedict. Anyway, Fidel Castro uh, found Jesus, Yeshua. Fidel Castro, I'm going to sound the alarm on me. He was never lost. He's been there all the time. You neglected to keep him in your life and went and did a lot of bad things. Uh, he didn't get lost. And you're going to ask the Pope uh, of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Benedict, to forgive you. Jesus wasn't lost. He has never lost Fidel Castro. And Pope Benedict, uh, he can't forgive you. Only Jesus can. Let me bring you this story. I'm going to put um, the link below in the description box so you have it. And you can read it. Now, it'll be right above the comment section. It's very easy to put the link. All I do is run my mouse over it and uh, highlight it and copy and paste. And I am about the most uh, untechnical person you could ever, ever meet. Fidel Castro has found Jesus will ask Pope for forgiveness. Daughter says, and this is the update, decades after his adjective, after his education by Havana Jesuits is Fidel Castro starting to feel kind of bad about the whole renouncing religion and being a hated dictator stuff. He did a lot of bad things. Fidel Castro, you killed a lot of people. Um, now you're feeling bad as you're getting older, um, which is good. And you need to repent. According to his Miami-based daughter, Alina Lee, Marcus, in fact, has come closer to religion and he edges uh, stubbornly towards death, as he edges stubbornly towards death, Vatican officials confirmed to 
one Italian paper that the Pope expects to talk to Jesus and maybe even take confessions from the ailing uh, strongman during Benedict's visit to Cuba next month. And it goes on, and I'll put the link below. You got it all wrong, uh, Fidel Castro. Why? You don't ask. You don't need to ask Pope anybody. Pope Benedict. It's like a Benedict the egg. You don't have to. Uh, eggs Benedict. Pope Benedict. You don't follow any man. You don't go to any man and ask them for forgiveness. Go to the source. You go to Jesus. You need to go to Jesus. He was never lost. He was never lost that you now found him. You do. You need to repent, Fidel Castro. You need to accept Jesus into your heart. And you need to go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And you need to get on your knees and ask forgiveness. Never ask forgiveness of a man for your sins. I love you. I'll be back. And uh, let me know. Let me know what is your opinion on Fidel Castro and needing to ask the Pope for forgiveness. I love you and God bless everyone. I'll be back. If you're not saved, send me a personal message right here. I love you. The Lord is all on me. The Lord is his voice. The Lord is all on me. I love you. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Blow the trumpet and die on Zion. Sound the alarm on his holy mouth. The trumpet in Zion. Stay tuned. I love you.